Some folks say there, there just ain't no forgiveness for bad dogs or bad men in this world. They say they're just too far gone to be redeemed. But the Sunday morning preacher, he said there ain't nothing impossible as long as you have a little faith. Heavenly Father, power in the dog, charge it, I want to glory, honor, and honor. His name is Curry. He's a uh, pit bull and Labrador mix. Um, when new people come to the door, he's very aggressive. He lunges towards people, bites, nips. It's usually a bite. Um, they're not lethal bites, uh, but sometimes they're nips, and all, but sometimes they also draw blood too, from nips to bull bites. I'd like to see my dog uh, just calmly, when I introduce new people to him to calmly approach them and, and not be so aggressive and so so anxious. Oh, here comes Chuck. How you doing, Vile? Good, how are you? Good, I understand that you got a little problem with your dog. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna make sure that your dog sits 15 feet in front of that door when visitors come in and be calm. Yes. How does that sound? That's what I want. What's his name? Curry. Why don't we go on inside and meet Curry and see how he uh, greets visitors, okay? Let's do this. A little bit of before and after? <laughs> yep. All right. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's try. All right. You got him? Yeah. Move back. Move back. <laughs> okay. All right. So. Stop right there. Did we get that? Yes. Okay. As you can see, we have a little bit of slight aggression here. We got a little bit of dominance. We got a little bit of human dominant corrective, okay? Mm -hmm. So our plan is to go in and uh, make this an easy visitor transition, okay? So the plan is, is to put the e-collar on the dog and we're going to start correcting when we see bad behavior today with vibration, beep, and uh, stimulation. Very rarely do we have to use stimulation, but in this case, we want to make sure that we have the option available. Remember, a dog only knows when it's doing something wrong, when it's in the act of doing something wrong. So stand by, we're going to fit the dog with the e-collar, and then we're going to go in and see if we can correct this negative behavior. You guys ready? Yes, we're ready. Hey, you're ready. All right. Good. If you hold number one, he'll sit. And if you hold number two, he'll lay down. So if that makes it any easier for you. That, that, that's great, but, but what, what we want to do is we want to make sure that he doesn't bite our ass. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. What we're going to do, we're going to hold off on the sitting for a minute to make sure that we uh, keep the teeth out of the gluteus yeah, maximus, yeah. okay? Gotcha. Right. So what I want to do is I want to take this e-collar. The number one problem with e-collars not working is they're not on correctly. I want it on the dog right here and I want it tight, okay? What does that do? That lets the prong sit into the skin, so whether it's a beat, the vibration, or if you have to use stimulation, it's much more effective. A loose e-collar will not work, okay? So I want it on the neck, and I want it tight, okay? We're gonna turn it on. You wanna push the button we put on next time? Mm -hmm. Push the button, make sure it's working? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I put it on. 
Oh, oh, yeah, shit. I gotta test it out before it goes on a dog. Huh? I don't know what it is about my cast. I, I like a track cycle pass. Okay, so the premise here is when the dog reacts negatively, we want to give some type of stimulation. We're going to start off with beep, then we're going to go to vibrate, and I do not think this case is going to require stimulation. Let's just see. But here's the deal. A lot of people won't use the e-collar, and a lot of times they're sentencing their dogs to death. <laughs> okay, because it's the only thing that works. You can't turn your back on a product because you don't think it's groovy, okay? You use a product because it works. In this case, we don't want the dog biting people. If the dog bites people, the dog's gonna get euthanized, and we don't want that, okay? The gentleman has been to a lot of trainers. They haven't been effective. We're his last resort, and we're gonna fix the dog, period. When I go in, I want one camera person over here. I want one camera person over there. Any of you guys, if the dog charges, I want you behind me and I want you out of the house. Okay, okay. my job is not to get you hurt. Okay? I also, I'll take that one. You think I got one? You'll take that one, Yeah, huh? Chuck, Chuck took the bigger one. I, had a... I got a gun too, you need that? <laughs> yeah. No, we, I've never needed one yet. <laughs> Lights on. He's in front of you again. Like that? The dog should never be in front of you. Okay. He should be to your side or behind you. So I want you to adjust your body where you're right. Okay? Just like that. Now, I want a leash snap correction. Let me see it. There we go. Did you see what happened when you gave the leash snap correction? Your dog saw me as a threat. He started to move forward, but you corrected your dog. Okay? All right. You notice how he went forward, okay? So let's do the same thing. Next time he moves forward, I want you to correct, okay? <clears throat> Take him back to your side. Notice that I beat, or I vibrated rather, as soon as the dog moved, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do now, I want to stop the cameras. I want to put the muzzle on. Okay, like no, that, see, like that, 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 that was a safety issue right there, okay? You let the dog in front of you. We're training the dog so he doesn't bite people, but you're letting the dog get in front. Last time he lunged at me. Yeah. Okay. Keep your dog to the left of you or behind you. Never give your dog more lead than he needs. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. What I want you to do is I want you to put this muzzle on. Mm -hmm. I want you to wrap it around and tighten it. See those eyes? See the eyes, see the eyes. You get the eyes. You see them moving left to right like that? Watch those eyes move left to right. Watch those eyes. Watch them. Watch them move left to right. See them? Watch when they move. Right? That's what you correct. That's what you correct. Get that eye. Get that camera on the eyes. They moved again. Watch when the eyes move. Okay? Licking of the lips. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. Okay? He licked the lips. These are all, shh, the eyes move. Did you catch that? Mm -hmm. The eyes are moving. And he's looking out the side of the eye. Those are all signs that it could be a strike. Now notice that we've been correcting and the eyes are not moving left and right. He's not licking his lips anymore. You see that? We come consistently corrected using the beeper and sound until he stopped. The eyes are moving again, so I correct. We want the dog to stop focusing on biting someone. And we want him to start focusing on paying attention to the owner. If the dog starts to move its eyes left or right, if the dog starts to look out the side of the eye, or if the dog starts licking its lips, we want to correct, right? Because those are all the signs that something negative is going to happen. Turn around. Let him sniff my cameraman. Okay, move him back. Give him a double pass. Oh, right. mm -hmm. yeah. Dennis, turn around. Go ahead. Give him a double pass. Dennis, you can come over here. Okay.
Okay. Give him a double pack. Switch. Okay. Okay. When yeah. we go out for a walk, who goes out first? Me. You. When we come back from a walk, who comes in first? Me. That's right. Now, what I want to do now is I want to get the dog outside after you and I want to introduce him to a little bit of socialization through walking. And then we're going to come back in and we're going to sit in your home and you're going to have company over without this guy acting like a maniac, okay? Oh, that's good. up to me real hot, right at the end, okay, you just start walking. Notice that when I start, I give two sounds, and when I stop, I give two sounds. This gives the dog direction. The more direction that the dog gets, the more the dog will obey, okay? okay. All right, ready? He's licking his lips. So I correct. Believe it or not, he knows when he's licking his lips. Okay? He does? Right. Yeah. He, that's his sign of saying, fix me. What's the lick lip? It's a frustration. Okay, okay. It's, it's a kind of a, a okay. frustration and an obsession that leads to bad behavior in okay. this particular case. Okay. So those are the things to look for. Yeah, okay. eye looking and the lip looking. Right. Yeah. And you get that weird feeling, right? Like yes. he's getting ready to bite. He does something to let you know. You get that little weird feeling inside, right? Yeah, oh yeah. What if I told you that that weird feeling wasn't yours? What if I told you because every thought in your mind you hear in your voice, when you hear someone else's thought process in your mind, you think it's yours. Right. It's not. It's your dog telling you that he's getting ready to bite someone. So we want to correct that weird feeling that we get. Right? right. That's anticipative correction versus immediate correction. And immediate correction means that the infraction has already occurred. That's not what we want. A good dog trainer does not stop bad behavior. A good dog trainer prevents it. So we're going to use anticipative correction. Right. We're going to look for those signs that put him into a bad energy. Yep. Right? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start the dog off with a little bit of socialization. We're going to let little bits come on over here, take up the reins. Remember, we want to start off with and stop with. We ready? Ready. Let's go. Relax. Too much. Too much. You saw that, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I got to keep on a little bit. She's a little feisty. A little bit. Yeah, she jumped in on a 140 pound <laughs> Rottweiler. And I was saying to myself, I said, man, that was admirable. <laughs> it looked good, but that was crazy as hell. We yeah. can't have that, okay? <laughs> I got yelled at. We, we, yeah, we've got we've to gotta settle you down a little. If I'm a hard ass out here sometimes, it's because I don't want anybody to get hurt. Right? Absolutely. Okay? And believe me, you don't want to go through that. He's been bit quite a few times, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Oh, quite a few. <laughs> this is Big Dennis Vall here. He's uh, he's not one of the four horsemen, but uh, he's been with me from the beginning. All right, you ready to walk him? I'm ready. All right. I want a more forceful correction. Let me see it again. We need to make the dogs look away. So Okay, okay, that's right. what we're doing? Okay. So for one thing, what, what we're doing wrong right off the bat is that we have to understand if we want the dog to look away from an object, then we have to correct away from the object. Okay. So if he's looking that way, right, you're going to correct this way. Okay. So correct his head that way. Should I get on the other side or just pull doesn't make way. a difference. It doesn't, okay, okay. Right. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. Don't move. You don't need to move. Move him over here a little bit. Right there. Make him sit. Oh, he doesn't have. Okay, that's good. 
Okay, correct until his head moves away from the object. Much better. Give him a double pat. Double pat. Correct him. Correct him away. Correct him away. Give him a double pat. Walk him down the other way. Yeah. Walk him. Keep that tail up. Correct when that tail is up like that. Walk him around. That was the lady she got me. Probably because she had two out of control. I just don't touch the car. She had a couple out of control dog. She was mad because we had, I don't remember whether it was a muzzle on the dog. What did she say? Well, somebody called. That's why I'm around okay. here. All right. Okay. Yeah, not a, not a big deal. Just Thank you, sir. They, they always call the police. Why would someone call the police? When they see someone working with the dog, why would they call the police? I don't understand that. But anyway, some people are just miserable. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get away from it. Okay, everybody come on up. We can come over here. Right there, too. And notice that we're walking and we're surrounding the dog. Okay? This is good behavior, but we're also looking for bad behavior, right? Because when we have bad behavior, that means what? Is, let me put it this way. Is bad behavior good? No. No. Please be correct. I'll ask the fans out there, is bad behavior good? No. So I'm going to ask my crew again. Is bad behavior good? No. 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 You're wrong. Oh. Right? Bad behavior is good, isn't it? Yeah. Why? Because it gives you an opportunity to correct. Because it gives you an opportunity to correct bad behavior. Remember, dogs aren't human, right? The only time they know that they're doing something wrong is when they're in the act of doing it. So we welcome bad behavior for the opportunity to correct it. So we were talking about anticipated correction versus immediate, right? Right. And we were also talking about how you got to keep your eye on the ball, right? Yeah, yeah. The key to this case is watching that dog. Okay. Just always keep my eye on him for the lick. Licking for of the all lips. The signs. Uh, Looking out movement. the side of the yeah. eye. Rapid eye movement. Okay. Dilated eyes. He really didn't have dilated eyes, but those three. Okay. okay. We want to look for those things. Yeah. Because what they mean is something bad is going to happen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So we want to be very proactive on yeah. watching for bad signs and correcting that. If we correct the bad signs, or everything that leads up to bad behavior, and we're gonna save a dog's life today. Dog is anticipating somebody coming through the door. The first thing they recognize is the knock. So we have to correct the dog with least snap correction, right? Yep. Until the dog is calm. Yeah, right, drop the lead. Tell your dog to stay. This is your dog. He doesn't own you. You own him. So when visitors come in, you control the situation. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't think about it, just do it. I don't want him in front of you. Did he sniff? Okay, move him back. Come on. Let him sniff my cameraman. Okay, move him back. Give him a double pat. Good boy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dennis, turn around. Go ahead. Give him a double pat. Okay, Dennis, you can come over here. Okay. I want your dog by your side. In fact, I want him behind you. 
step forward. Right there is good. Correct him if he moves. Okay. That's where he should be. We must understand that when dog is behind human, yes. what that means is, is that the human's in charge. It's very simple. There's no method to the madness. It's just what it is. When the dog's behind you, you're in charge. Yes. Right? Our plan is to have everyone come in, sit down in your home, and have your dog in the middle. Okay? Right, let's do it. With the muzzle off. Okay. How does that sound? Sounds great. In addition, we're going to use the SafeCom collar. What the SafeCom collar is going to do, it's going to put total calm into the situation. Okay, do we have the SafeCom collar on? Vials? SafeCom collar is on. All right. Again, our goal is to go in, have guests come in, and have the dog act nice. <laughs> Not mean. <laughs> I've been knowing you for over 30 years. Do I still have to call you Mr. Chuck? Or can I just call you Chuck? <laughs> Mr. Chuck. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> That's not true. He's called me a lot of other things other than Mr. Chuck. <laughs> yeah, you sure have. Okay. So, right there is good. You can get a close up. You can move it in. All right, go ahead. I want you to be very cognizant of the dog not having a muzzle on, okay? I was told that I had chicken legs. I would like to keep them. Have them sniff me. Okay. All right. Move him back. Give him a double pass. Good job. As you can see, the safe calm collar is really helping out. Okay. What? Three pats. Okay, oh, three right. pats. My okay. cameraman just okay. said you gave three pats. Sorry. Two pats. Two pats only. Okay. What does three pats mean? Too excited. Too excited. It means to become excited to yeah. a dog. Two pats mean job well done. Okay, so we got me in, okay. So three right. passes like provoking him. Right. So I'm gonna go in and sit down and then I'm gonna have the cameraman come in over here. Okay, go ahead. Move him back. Double pat. Great job. There you go. Double pat. Double pat. Okay, next. Straight. He's sniffing Big E now. That's good. You all right, Eric? Oh, yeah. Okay, great. We don't want you jumping around. Okay. Double pat. Okay, you're leaving the dog much too long. Let him sniff and move him. Okay, he okay. smells that pass. Okay, I, right. yeah, he's, I almost had a case of wind. So. <laughs> this is the wind. You said wind, right? Yeah, the wind. Yeah, come on, racket move. No, you don't want that. <laughs> we had a couple beers in Chile one day, and he let wind and cracked my glasses. <laughs> on the leg where he's sniffing. Okay, have a seat. So what caused the concern was lack of calm, okay? What I mean by that is a dog is in the home, someone knocks at the door, it stops the calm. The dog was born to be calm, but unfortunately it was born to enforce calm, okay? So it wants to restore calm. The problem was is the dog was restoring calm. That's not what we want. We want the pack leader to restore calm. And that's what we did today. When your dog is in the home with guests, this is how the dog is supposed to act. Okay? That's what we want. He is very relaxed. He's a lot more relaxed than he was before, but he wasn't relaxed at all. I mean, he is, it's night and day. Night and day difference between from when we got here. It's good. Completely different energy. Right. Yeah, he's definitely completely relaxed. That just goes to show you, right, that, that everybody says that these dogs can't be fixed and they're just giving up on them, right? Somebody's got to care for them, right? Somebody's got to put the time and effort in and you can't be afraid.
But I love it because we worked as a group today. Oh yeah. To get the fixed. Mm -hmm.